Scientology Freedom. She talk a black. Sometimes you can see too my phone shows very well and sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes it just brightens up on its own. Um I was talking to a brother this morning, you know, and I was telling him uh some things uh and we talked about Scientology and I said the uh, only way to have freedom from Scientology is for everyone to tell. Hmm, tell my phone guess. And see, this is an ant. I just found this page, you know, just now. Still thinking about the only way to uh, get rid of this stuff that we're all going through. Under mind control, V2K, everything. is for everyone to know about Scientology. Now here, um... This is Nat, and when I saw this, it reminded me of, I guess it's the movie Ant, uh, or maybe A Bug's Life. But, you know, the grasshoppers came, and I always took away the things, you know, like, just punk them around, you know? And so, you know, it seems like that's what they're doing to us. Now, I ran across this page they call Scientology Crime Syndicate versus fellow Scientologist Mr. C. So Mr. Safe is also a Scientologist. Isn't that something? Mr. Safe is a Scientologist who participates in public discussions around the internet for several years. Because he's a Scientologist and an honest person, and acknowledges the criminal basis of Church of Scientology. The Scientology Crime Syndicate had, for all the years that Mr. Safe had been speaking publicly, tried to learn his identity so they could silence him. Since Mr. Safe never posted his real name, since Mr. Safe never posted his real name, the criminal code couldn't hurt him. <clears throat> All that changed when one of the crime syndicate, crime syndicate, crime bosses used the Millennium Copyright Act and unconstitutionally issued a subpoena with no judge signed and which made only vague allegations with no supporting evidence whatsoever to AT&T, Mr. Safe's IP. ISP demanding his identity. Now this is what the Church of Scientology did. See, the Church of Scientology is also the CIA, the FBI, the BCU, the whatever else they have. AT&T and legal departments were heavily flooded with telephone calls, faxes, and personal visits of all which presented to AT&T documented evidence which proved con convincing conclusively that they will be putting Mr. Safe's life in danger by informing the criminal court about who Mr. Safe is. The criminal court provided the glut of evidence themselves, in fact, in the form of hate flyers that the Church of Scientology crime bosses orders their followers to post around. See? Orders the followers, and now they're anywhere from one thousand to uh, from three thousand, from four thousand to five thousand, uh, NOI Scientologists, and you know they follow, uh, fairy con. They they will kill me for calling him a fairy, and a con. Uh, the bosses ordered the followers to post around the homes and businesses of their victims, many of which had filed criminal and civil complaints against the crime syndicate. See, many people have filed against them, but yet they still exist. Hmm. AT&T's legal department voicemail and email filled up until neither could take any more. The fax machine was taken offline for the same reason, probably because too many people from around the world flooded them with court documents and evidence of the crime syndicate's racketeering history. In short, it was AT&T's biggest public confrontation regarding the single 
regarding one single individual. They did all this for one person. Wow. In the history of the telecommunication company, AT&T merely ignored the evidence in, entirely. Like good little Nazis, handed Mr. Safe over. See? AT&T merely ignored the evidence entirely and like good little Nazis, see, so AT&T has a lot to do with them, handed Mr. Safe over to the executioner without qualms nor conscience, because they have no conscience, because um, they are not to be sympathetic. That's on one of the... Uh, one of the laws that's all the way at the bottom. If you're sympathetic, then you know you're very, very weak. So you're not supposed to be sympathetic, nor have a conscience. That's what sympathetic is. Apathetic, you don't have a conscience. By this time, however, various chapters of the ACLU had gotten involved, and many other civil and constitutional rights organizations have been contacted and gotten involved. Additionally, federal agencies were keyed up were keyed up in and around various geographical areas prior to the crime syndicate getting Mr. Say's name and address. More importantly, the crime bosses see they're called crime bosses, which in which in engaged in this crime were apparently informed by various agencies that they would face a felony indictment if they did anything criminal with the information AT&T gave them. The Scientology Crime Syndicate found itself hamstrung. They could not take care of Mr. Safe quietly and anonymously anymore. The more they could not sue him for copyright infringement since no copyright infringement took place. The crime syndicate lied. By the time the criminal court was given his identity, several newspapers around the United States had contacted Mr. Say and a large number of civil and constitutional rights groups had, stopped, had stepped between the Scientology crime syndicate and Mr. Say to keep him safe. So, like criminals, the world over, the Scientology crime syndicate was forced to retreat, confronted with massive public exposure. See, the world over. Scientology is all over the world. And that's the way this criminal organization will finally be destroyed through public dissemination of the felony racketeering that the crime syndicate engages in. Click here for some additional truth about the Scientology Crime Syndicate, xnew.net. But I will see what that is about. But this, I, I, I was talking to um, a brother this morning, and uh, this is what I told him. You know, and said someone stepped in to help Mr. Safe. Well, I was telling him something that I saw, you know, before I went to sleep last night, my grandbaby told me that means I'm having, you know, their visions. That's what one of my grandbabies called them visions. As I was telling one of the something that to my grandbabies that I saw, she said, Oh, so you had a vision. You know, so I guess, you know, I'm going to say it's a vision. I did have a vision that, um, but it was, I, I, in my mind, it was the FBI. And they stepped into my world. And they took me out of here and they put me somewhere else. And uh, they were doing this and that. And the word was actually really getting out. And they even shut down Church of Scientology downtown San Diego. And doing that, you know, and then I fell asleep and it kept going. And so uh, when they shut down the Church of Scientology downtown, we have so many people downtown that appear to be homeless, but they're not. They also begin to disappear. Downtown begin to look like a place you really want to, you know, maybe take your children to. They were not a homeless people. They got rid of a lot of things too, you know, like, uh, they also took property from certain people because they found out 
that this property uh, was being used to target people. I mean, they stepped in. They stepped in another way because there are those who have been trying to get Scientology for a very long time. And these are those that are not, or uh, Scientology could not get a hold to in the CIA and the FBI. There, you know, sometimes we think all of them are bad, but they're not. They also have to play a role so that, uh, you know, they can do what they need to do. And these people stepped in and uh, they may miss to say, say. And, uh, and then I found it, so maybe, you know, but we do have to all get it out there. All targeted individuals don't just put Scientology is targeting me you have to study Scientology here's what they call Scientology crime syndicate they are crime syndicate and they talk about crime bosses and they talk about how um, they they uh, filled up AT&T's voicemail everything in AT&T someone that broke and sent a message you know, and sent this shit to them, the Scientology Church of Scientology Crime Syndicate sent information to him. So even your IP address and a lot of your IP address, those who own your IP address and uh, Scientology, they, they work together. Don't be fooled. They work together. Now, one thing that Scientology says is they're going to clear the earth. They're going to clear the earth by making everyone a Scientologist. If you do not want to be a Scientologist, then you will be uh, chosen as a target. And uh, Farrakhan has joined on to Scientology. And... uh, and now he's going around to churches to bring them into. Also, uh, the Church of Scientology is connected to Jehovah's Witness because, um, well, not Church of Scientology, but Crowley. Crowley is the one invented the Jehovah's Witnesses. And uh, Jehovah's Witnesses, they are into so many people are going to be wiped out also. And uh, I find the Church of uh uh, the whole witnesses, I, I find them now to also be uh, with Scientology. But he's going around to churches. I mean, like Baptist churches and this church to get them to join in. And he, he takes others with him, you know, so that others can testify um, that what you know so that others can testify about uh, Scientology and this is pastor's prayer some some so he's a pastor he's not the church he's in is not Islam but he's going around and he's doing that they're calling it Dynetics instead of you know Scientology is Dynetics but if we don't start opening up our mouths Man, the things that are going to be happening. Man, I I don't even have words for it. Here's one I haven't seen yet. Is a Farrakhan speaks on Dianetics and um, the natural devil. It appears it doesn't want to move that fast. Um, Dianetics, he, uh, something in uh, the Georgia Guidestones talks about um, how the language will be changed. And this language, is uh, it, people talk about him when he's speaking now. It say he speaks another language. It's called the saint, the saint, the language of Scientology. So that will be the new language that will be spoken. Uh, Farrakhan educates network gangs, and, and that's not what I asked for, but that's what they gave me. But that's fine. So uh, I'm going to go and get the Florida Guidestones. 
Um, and uh, certain things have already come to pass that is in the, um, the Florida Guidestones, you know. Press conference to the United Nations. Wow. This man spoke at the United Nations, but wow. I mean, economically, he built nothing. He's not a Hiram Abel. I mean, Elijah Muhammad was like Hiram Abel. He built, you know, they had places to live and all kind of shit. Okay, so anyways, I'm going to go now to the um, uh, Florida Guidestones uh, to show you. Here we go. Minister Farrakhan speaks on Dianetics and the nature of, it said, the devil. So I haven't heard of it yet, but um, it's kind of confusing because how can he speak of Dianetics, which is actually Scientology? He's changing the speech. Scientology and then the nature of the devil, so it, it didn't go over there. Something else uh, I found out uh, by researching this shit is that um, uh, I don't know how much Fairy Khan got paid. I said in the video he got paid uh, $4.3 million, but then I read somewhere else it was 2.3. You know, the number keeps changing. So I don't know how much he got paid, but he probably got paid nothing. He probably got paid nothing. This thing was a farce from the beginning. Uh, for Fart uh, Muhammad, he was from Scientology. And then um, Jim Jones, that was the white people that was talking around town that Wallace had let in. That was Scientology. And now they are going back to Scientology. So who knows how long this shit has been planned just to take so many of the sheep back into slavery because I mean if you listen to the Scientologists who escaped even the fake Scientologists who say they escaped but they're covert that's what I mean by they're covert Scientologists but they say they escaped still the same thing they escaped do you think how how how, how horrible do you think they would treat the melanated man? And uh, they treated them so badly. And, and and then their children. I mean, it just do the research. God damn. It, this shit to me is kind of scary. But in a sense of a way, it's kind of scary. But then it's not. Because uh, I, 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 I really, really send a lot of energy out to the anyone to begin to you know that they will begin to research the Scientology sinister mobster mean uh, targeting everybody kind of stuff and uh, and begin to expose it it doesn't matter who you expose just expose this stuff because wow wow but then uh, at 2 a look there's some land somewhere and that uh, maybe uh, it will be a place that we could go and be safe, but it will be like zombies. My daughter said it's going to come as though it's zombies. It will be like zombies. Um, they, I mean, just let me go to the Florida guy stone. They should talk a lot about.